Hey guys, Volko here, and today we are back with another episode of Bad Lion PvP, and today I actually do have a little topic to talk about, and that topic is my aunt Cheryl. Now I don't usually talk about family and stuff, I don't really talk about them much, I don't talk about them in videos much, but this time I needed to bring it up because my aunt right now is slowly dying. About three years ago when I moved, or I guess it was four years ago now, she was perfectly fine, but about a year after I moved, we found out that she had breast cancer. Well, everything was going fine. She was doing her chemotherapy, I think that's what it was called, and she was like getting better. But somewhere along the line, it stopped working, and it's been getting worse ever since. And now it's gotten to the point of where she not only has breast cancer, but she also developed lung cancer somewhere down the line. And at this point, after like three years, she's in like the stage three of her like process or something. And it's not doing any help anymore. So a couple days ago, she just stopped doing all of her uh, treatments, her chemo and everything else, because it's just not working and there's just no reason to do it anymore if it's just gonna happen. And right now she's just living life and just trying to like recap with all her family members before her final days come to an end. Now this is extremely saddening to me because for one, she is actually my favorite aunt. Uh, I do have a lot of aunts and uncles and stuff, but she definitely is one of the more favorite ones that I have. And I felt like since this is such like a meaningful thing, I needed to dedicate a video to her. But yeah, I just... I just couldn't believe it that like a couple days ago when I found out that she is not going to make it. I just couldn't stand it. I had one like FaceTime with her with my whole family and her and her husband which is my uncle and I started tearing up because I just could not think that this person I've known for my whole life before she was even my aunt I knew her as Aunt Cheryl and I just could not think that I won't, I'm not gonna be able to see her again in a couple, like, days or weeks, but I, I just don't know what to say. I'm just terrified. Death makes me feel terrified, and I have no idea what she's going through, and I just, I just feel like I needed to make a video dedicated to her, and I, honestly, I don't know what to say, so I'm just gonna say some of, like, the happy memories, I guess, that I've had with her. So, as I said, she was my favorite aunt, basically. I have a lot of happy memories going camping with her and just doing a bunch of fun things, staying over at her house, like, just doing things with her, going on vacation and all that kind of stuff. It, the times were amazing. She'd come over to my house, I'd come over to her house, we'd, like, have fun all the time. She was known as, like, the bright person who was always making jokes, even in the baddest of times. And uh, I just don't know what to say, I'm trying to think of all the happy memories and there's just too many that my mind is going blank right now. As I said like a couple times, I just don't want to think that it's not going to happen anymore. I know this video is getting very repetitive about me saying like, oh this is like really sad and stuff, but it honestly is. This person that I've known for my whole life and has been there for me my whole life as like a support, a friend, an aunt, is just not going to be there anymore. And I just don't know what to say. Like, it's sad to me. I don't want it to end. I never thought this was gonna happen until a couple days ago. And I had my final call with her, I guess. And I, I, I didn't even say any words. I just sat there and nodded. And it's... It, it was the worst kind of thing. And I don't... I'm, I'm honestly, it's like, I'm trying not to cry. But it's like, coming on to me now. I just, I don't know anymore. It's just, it's gonna be a hard living life without her, knowing that she's not gonna be there for me to, like, see me grow up anymore. She's the typical aunt, like, oh, you've grown up so much and stuff, and it's just, 
gonna be so sad to know that she's not gonna be there to be able to do that and again as i said i just felt like obliged to make this video i don't make videos for just anybody so I'm just making this video for her just it needed to be done i needed to talk about it i needed to get it off my mind speak about it and but yeah so i will be going to the funeral whenever it does happen because currently she is still awake and breathing and living life not really but she's in the hospital living still that's at least something she has not died yet but i will be going to the funeral when it does happen and i will be missing school for that and i might miss a couple of videos for that but you, you guys should be able to understand like that's like a very personal thing it's gonna be my first funeral i never thought I would have to go to one so early in life for someone that like I knew and loved so much as this. So it's just really heartbreaking to me. And I really don't know what to say. I want to say more about like her life and how she was there for me. But I really don't know what to say. And I actually just want to take this, my, like, my mind off of that for a second and say that I just beat a 2k while talking about my aunt. I think my aunt is giving me some lucky powers. Uh, thank you, Aunt Cheryl. I'm honestly surprised that I am not crying a lot right now. I mean, I'm getting, like, tears. It's, like, feeling like it's about to come on, but it's not coming. And it probably will when I have to go to the funeral. And I just really don't want to, but I do want to. Like, when my parents ask me if I wanted to go, I'm like... I don't care what I have to miss. I am going to that funeral. And I just... I don't know. And I'm going to die to this person. And I wish I had more to say. I, I thought I was going to be able to say uh, so many things. Sadly, I can't. I don't know what to say. I... This just shows how... Yes, this just... just this just so... This just shows how badly of a commentator I am, and I really wish I was a better commentator so I can let you guys know more of my feelings and of how sad I actually am that this is happening. I just don't wish it had to be like this. Cancer sucks, it really does, and honestly, if I ever get really big on YouTube, the first charity I am doing is for cancer, no matter what. It is going to be for cancer. At some point, I will dye my hair to pink. I'm pretty sure that is the breast cancer, like, color awareness month. I'm pretty sure that's also October, which is my birth month. So, yeah, when that does, like, when I get big, I'm going to set up a charity. I'm probably going to do, like, a live stream or something. And I'm also going to be dyeing my hair at some point. I don't know. I might. I'm thinking about it. Probably will, because this just means that much to me. And it really does surprise me that I'm not actually, like, crying. So, I don't know about you guys, but it might make me feel like I have no heart. But I don't want to think about these kind of things. So, I just talk about it and don't really think. And sadly, I don't really cry until the moment actually comes. And, yeah, I'll cry, then I'll get over it, which is sadly not a good... Well, it is a good thing, but it, I get over things too soon, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get over this one too soon. I've gotten over things like my pet's deaths in like a couple days, but this... I mean, I do treat my pets like family, like close family, but this, this just got too close. Way too close. And cancer... Screw you. Screw you and everything that you have to do. I hate you, Cancer. Never thought I'd be saying this, never thought I'd lose a family member to Cancer. But, yeah, screw you, Cancer. I do have a lot more that I kind of wanted to talk about, but I don't really know how to say it because of how bad of a commentator I am. So sadly, I'm just basically gonna be ending it off here after this fight. Come on, just let me get this over with. Come on. I really do wish I had more emotion to show, and I wish I could actually beat this guy for my aunt. Come on. My strength. I will show. 
in front of you. Eh. Come on. You gapping. It's not good. Come on. Oh, you're gonna damage me a little bit. Come on. Can you not, please? Oh my god. I was gonna be able to do it, and now I'm not gonna be able to clutch this. Okay, clutch, clutch, clutch. Yes, clutch. Okay. Come on. Oh, Cheryl! Ah! I shot myself! What was that? I don't even know. But, yeah, I had a lot more I wanted to talk about. But sadly, I just do not know how to express my feelings that well. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe for more of my content. And please, 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 in the comment section, if you could just please put Rip Cheryl. I will put a, like, a spelling box of how her name is spelled in the video. Please just put Rip Cheryl. It would mean, like, the most to me. And, yeah, that's gonna be it. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe for more of my content. I have been Volkar, and I am out. Peace.